What's up guys, Sammy here. We're out in the water today, we're talking trolling. Now, not just any trolling, we're talking blue water game fishing. We're trolling skirts for the likes of marlin, tuna, all that sort of cool stuff. Now, I've just had a morning session out here, so I thought I'd give you a run through of how I set my spread, a four rod spread, um, from a small trailer boat. So, majority of the people out there have got trailer boats. They might not all have outriggers or anything like that. So this is a good way to set your spread to get the most out of it, get the most lure coverage, and also get the least amount of tangles. So this is pretty well the basic setup of how I run my rods. I run these two, picture these as my two outside rods. I run them off what's called rod riggers out the side of the boat. Um, that's generally what most people will do. They just, uh, rod riggers, for those who don't know, they just help get you a bit higher and a bit more angle from normal, normal um, rod holders. And then these two here, these are called the short corners, short and long corner. You run them straight down the back, so they sit in that position. Now, from these guys here, these are going to be your shortest rods, so they're going to be the closest to the boat. Now on one corner, you want to run the biggest, darkest, gnarliest action skirt you've got. So the one that's going to make the most amount of commotion, you want that the closest to the boat. Now, next in line, we've got the second most, uh, the second biggest skirt you're gonna run in the, in the spread. So that's this guy here. Now he makes a fair bit of commotion, big bubble trail, all that sort of stuff. And he's gonna be sitting probably about 10 meters behind your first lure. So what you've got essentially is your two loudest, noisiest, biggest, brightest, or darkest, depending on how you like to run your colors, lures closest to the boat. Now what that does is it gives the fish something to hit something to aim for with all the commotion of the outboard so it actually just gives them a bit more profile easier to find and it's a uh, it's a bit more effective that way now on the outside rods that's where we start running your smaller more natural or brighter color lures so this is be the third closest to the rod so it's on one of the outside sorry third closest to the boat this is on one of the outside runs rods jeez can't talk today um, and that's a medium sized lure. So where these guys are quite large, this one's medium sized and it doesn't create as much commotion. It's a bit more natural, a bit more life size in its uh, bait fish profile. So he's good. He probably sits, I'd say maybe 40 meters back. And then the further it's back and the, the second outside rod, I've got this little guy here. Now that's a little flying fish imitation, super natural colors, absolute tasty little morsel. Now, this guy we run furthest down the back because it's the furthest away from the prop wash, furthest away from all the commotion of the boat, so it's able to run its own line, do its own thing, and still be noticed. So it's, it's pretty well running in clean water. Um, and that's why we run the natural colours as well, because you want pretty well any fish that's been in your spread, you want him to go, okay, maybe he doesn't want the bright one, doesn't want a black one, or he's always going to have a go at a flying fish or something supernatural. So that's why we run him a fair way out the back and uh, and out on his own. Well that's pretty well the basics guys. Um, I'll show you how to rig them all up in, an, in another video um, but yeah that's that's the basics of running a marlin spread from a small trailer boat. Uh, four rods. Four rods I'm, I'm pretty comfortable to run with uh, two people on board, ideally three. Uh, if you're fishing by yourself, fishing solo, I'd only run th maximum of three rods. There's just too much going on if you do get a hookup to deal with if you've got more than three rods. So you're trying to clear them, you're trying to fight a fish, it's just too much going on. Now if you've got three people on board, you could always run five rods and run an extra one straight down the middle. But realistically, you don't need it. Save that for the big game boats so they can deal with all the tangles and stuff associated with running that many rods. Anyways guys, that's how I run a spread for my trail boat. Uh, as you'll see, it actually works quite well and we've got a nice little marlin, so check out this footage. Until next time guys, catch ya. Now what I should have mentioned, I forgot, another th couple of things to have on hand if you are going to be doing a bit of marlin trolling is one, a gaff. You never know when you're going to come across something tasty like a dolphin fish or a wahoo, something nice. And then one of these. Now this is a gimbal. You use this to uh, lock into the rod. so. The rod comes out, locks in like that, makes the fight a whole lot more comfortable, a whole lot easier to control an overhead reel, especially for beginners. Now, there is one more thing. If you are lucky enough to get onto a marlin 
and you've caught one, you haven't caught one before, you'll go to grab his bill and realize just how sharp and rough they are. So have a set of gloves ready to rock and roll. It's a lot easier, a lot more comfortable to hold onto their bills while you're getting the hook out, getting a nice photo. Uh, you don't want to shred your hands up or hurt the fish. So remember those couple of things as well, guys. Now, I promise it's the end now. Have a good one. Cheers. So we caught a wahoo this morning, thought that was fun. Thought we might go catch something with a stick on its face. Oh so, yeah, uh, Marty, what are you doing? Ah, oh, you know, mate, at work. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Water was right, timing was right. Thought, why not? Long corner just got absolutely wild. Taking some off, yeah. Giving me a bit of a flog in this fella. He looks pretty decent, to be honest. Yeah, mate. Stay alive, just in case he dives. But you knock the boat out again. Got him. Oh. Look out. We go with that, first Yo. mile of the season. Beautiful fish. Yeah. Nice, clean. He'd be, what, 30 kilos, maybe a bit more. He's solid, gave a good stink. Bloody nice one. Send him home. Yep. Not bad. Not bad. Let's do it again.